Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is going to be an Aries Weekly Money and Career Reading from June 17th to the 23rd, 2024. Aries, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Aries Weekly Money and Career June 17th to the 23rd, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the Hero for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of June. All right, Aries. Let's see what messages, what energies we have coming in for uh, uh, June 17th to the 23rd, 2024. Beautiful Ace of Swords. A lot of aces coming in uh, this week for everyone. Um, new beginnings, new, new directions, new way of thinking, reinventing, finding new ideas, wanting to get out of the a certain comfort zone, right? You're celebrating a new direction. Or maybe now you're really comfortable with this new team or this new job, this new project, business, whatever. You like the people you're working with. Um, or you like the people with whom you're developing this idea with the Ace of Swords. Um, the Ace of Swords also can be, um, yes, a new idea. Uh, but like a revelation of a new idea, like that aha moment where you're like, oh, wow, this is really cool. This is creative. This is what I want to work on or, or I have a new idea, right? Or, or you're coming up with this with these people or you're celebrating this new idea. Or, or it's like, or, or finally you, you're, you're finding clarity on a situation, on an answer, on a business, on, right? Or, or you're finally understanding something. Or, or getting the, the answer on something or the truth on something. So that's revealing really, really like a celebration. So maybe you're getting an answer. Maybe you're getting a call back, right? Something like that, uh, a positive answer to push forward. Now, you're, you're taking your time. <laughs> you don't want to rush this. Knight of Pentacles. Now, this can be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with whom you're working, um, you know, slowly but surely that is there, that is committed, um, committed to get the job done, but really wants to analyze, strategize, you know, really uh, one step at a time, taking your time to or taking their time to move forward. I think it's you. I think you have this brilliant idea or you're finally getting an answer or a green light on something, it's positive, it's like exciting, it's exciting, you're celebrating, but you're going to take your time, Knight of Pentacles, this is not something you're going to rush, um, because it's daring, and because this is something probably outside of your comfort zone, or probably outside of your current field, current job, current business, um, it's not that you didn't prepare for this it is that all of a sudden this green light or go ahead or you know um or this answer or information coming in or clarification of this project job business whatever it is idea it's you're you're gonna have to go maneuver um, or go on this journey a little blind. When I say blind, like you're carefully, you're, you're slowly moving forward. You want to prepare. You want to commit. You want to do things in an orderly way. And you want things to be done in a very professional way. But no matter what, it's new and daring and creative and you haven't connected all the dots yet. It's not that prepared, right? So if this is an idea, you're going to have to go and navigate on a different kind of territory or with different types of people that you don't know yet. 
that's what the fool is all about. It's daring to put yourself out there or daring to start this new business or daring to work on this innovative project or something that's never been done before or certainly not navigated in the same way. So you believe in this for sure and you're ready you're ready you're 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 taking you're ready to take that leap of faith you really believe in this but you don't know where it's going you're at the outset of this new adventure right it's taking your first step into the unknown and so maybe this is something you've thought out or all of a sudden that you you know you this idea you found or this idea you're creating or whatever with these people or and and now you have to go on a whole adventure to make it happen and you don't have the answers yet but you believe in this i like this it's exciting but five of swords keep your ego in your pocket it feels like it's competitive um but it feels also like there's a lot of ego involved. Maybe a lot of ego. Let's see where this is going. So the battle of the egos. This can be a, a great idea. And now, you know, everybody has to make sure they're the leader. They're in the spotlight. They had the idea first or just developing these, this idea or working on it, you know, working in the beginning of this new journey project business path uh, is a bunch of egos. So everybody is going to fight for the spotlight. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's see if they're where this is going. Yeah. Okay. Well, there are options. There are options. Disillusions. Yeah, but see, that's like, it really feels like the, the ego thing. Like me, 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 me. I'm the one that came up with the idea. I'm the one that has the answers. I'm the one that has the power, the money, or the connections, right? Be careful. Be careful who you associate yourself with. Be, be careful who is involved in this thing, right? You have a whole bunch of options there, but make sure you fact check, back check everything there because that is going to bring conflict for sure. All right, let's see where this is going. Yeah, so four of swords. Take a break. If, if, you, feel, if you feel this is... Um, going in a direction where it's all about people's ego serving serving people's personal wallets or egos although there's not many pentacles here right it's not about money it's about ego who got there first who has the idea who's going to be leader who's going to be decision maker who's going to make this happen right so but your options are there. Just make sure you fact check. Take a breather. Take a breather. Four of Swords. Take a breather. It's about resting, tranquilizing yourself, right? Just relaxing and taking the time to put this in place. Don't rush anything. Do not rush anything because it's going to bring conflict. Yeah. Five of five of wands, the conflicts. Day to day, we don't agree. Everything's a battle. Take a step back. Don't rush anything. Here we have the hangman again. Uh, and not again, the hangman that is a card of patience. Patience, patience, patience. Um I I I feel with this hangman that first of all it's important to take your time, obviously. Important to take a pause, obviously, because I feel like this is how I feel. I feel like this is something that's exciting. It's a whole new direction, new idea. You're creating something. Maybe you're creating a business. Maybe this is a fantastic idea, whatever it is. And you have people there, right, excited as well. 
but I feel like it's rushed, right? It feels like it's going on, you're going on a whole new adventure, but it is not prepared. The fool is someone that believes in something and jumps off that cliff and, and, and really, really um, believes in this, but it's not, it's not something prepared. And if you need to have some sort of structure or documentation or preparation or development or whatever, you're going to have to take your time. And here's the hangman, right? Take a step back because you're going to have to either reflect on this, figure it out, figure it out, because if you're connecting to the wrong people, don't keep pushing, pushing, pushing forward, hoping will things are just going to happen as you push. No. Surrender to the opportunity to pause. View it as a chance to assess or reassess or evaluate, you know, evaluate where you stand on this new path, new project, new business. And it's, it's going to come around. But it's going to come around in a different way. It's different. It's different. And, and you have here with the Ace of Swords, the definition of different. You're taking a new path. It is a new direction. It's clarity on a situation. It's answers on what you wanted. But it's a whole new adventure that you don't have complete um, a vision on it like that you don't have the big picture. So not sure what you're pushing forward here because you're not quite sure yourself how this is gonna pan out or how you're gonna articulate this. Take a moment, take a moment. And so this is going, you're not gonna be able to see this new opportunity or new way of working or information, new type of information coming out or new um, team, new new logistics or you know yeah new feels like new people are coming in maybe and working on this something like that something new is coming in so either it's a new way of working or maybe you're relocating or maybe you're going to work with another team or maybe it's financed by someone different or something like that it's like it's like you're pushing a narrative that doesn't exist yet and all of a sudden Things are going to come in in a whole different way. Like strategies are going to come in in a different way. Logistics, budget, right? Or, you know, or this is going to be developed in a different way or by another business or by with another person. And so here it's about surrendering to the situation, even if it's different, even if it's not what you expected, even if this is something, maybe it's a different language, maybe you're working with international, maybe you have to relocate, maybe this is, you know, again, something completely done and unexpected and done in a different way that you ever expected, actually. So take time out of your routine to connect with this new way of thinking. Take a rest, take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. And it's really that. It's like new idea, exciting, take your time, rush, rush, take your time, rush, take your time, rush. Knight of Wands, gotta get out there, gotta do this. I'm excited. Let's do this thing. Like, I don't really know what we're doing, but let's do it. We gotta do it. It's exciting, basically. Right? The Knight of Wands is all about that teenage energy of excitement but not really being able to take responsibility or see further see beyond to be able to you know make a mature decision and understand exactly what's going on and take your time take your time accept to surrender to something different you're gonna connect no matter what with a new way of thinking, a new way of seeing, a new way of working, uh, new people. I don't know what it is. Let me know what this is all about, Aries. But it's different. And the combativeness is not going to work. The bulldozer is not going to work. Because no matter how you cut it, it's, it, it's going to be coming in in a different way. Yeah. 
there's an offer there. So here we have, you're rethinking this thing. I think that you're pushing, maneuvering, imposing, um, or wanting to go fast. And maybe it's not you, right? Maybe it's just the team or the company or whatever that, you know, it doesn't have to be you personally. But the energy is about, you know, needing to make this move forward at all costs quickly. And this is not a quick fix. So once you understand that it's going to be done with other people or it's going to be done in a whole new way, uh, it's almost like you have an idea. Okay, this is what it feels like. For example, you have your project uh, and you had this brilliant idea. You and your friend or you and your coworker or whatever um, have this brilliant idea and you pitch your idea or you... You know, you try to sell your idea, your product, your idea, whatever it is. Um, and it's it, it gets a great reception. And you're excited because this is actually something, maybe you're going to partner up and make this happen. And you're going to just become really successful and rich and all that, right? If everything going on in your mind, this is push forward, fantastic, this is going to happen, we're amazing, all that. But then when you start to get excited about this, when you speak and, and check out your options with these people that want to develop your product or want to partner up with you on this business or are excited about your idea, whatever it is, right? Um, they're going to do it. And they really want to do it, but they're going to do it their way. So let's say they have the money. Let's say they have the logistics. Let's say they're the big boss, right? They're the big company and you're just pitching an idea and they think it's fantastic. Well, they're going to take the idea or they're, you know, they're going to take their time to try to figure it out, how they're going to help you or partner up with you or finance this or whatever. How is this going to happen? And you, on the other hand, are very excited and are trying to impose a way to do this while you're just the one pitching the idea. And when I say just the one, that that's a little downplaying it, right? That's not what I mean. I mean that, like, if you want their money, there you go. If you want their money, if you don't partner up with them, you want their money or their logistics or or their help in developing this thing, whatever, you're going to have to adapt to their conditions, to their speed, to their way of working, whatever their dynamic is. And so here, I feel like as you're waiting for answers, clarity, how are we going to do this? Are you in? Are you out? Are we starting? Uh, let's get the ball rolling. Let's start this thing. Like, right, that, that, that's the Knight of Wands. Want to make it happen fast. You realize that, well, if you partner up with someone, it's not going to be all about you. You're not going to be the one that has the reins or 50-50 or whatever. It has to be a discussion, right? So you're not alone anymore, or you're not alone with your buddy anymore. Now you have people interested in your idea that's fantastic, but you don't have the reins because now everything has to be discussion and it's battle and battle and ego and options. And am I going to give in? Am I going to be able to do this? This is my idea. I want to do it this way. Blah, 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 right? Reflect. Take the time to reflect because if you really want to do this, here's an offer right here, right? This new idea and you have this little offer right here. So it's like you realize that you have to tone it down a little bit and you have to realize that you within your ego, your impulses of needing to be right at all times or needing to impose at all times because you're an Aries and you're ambitious and you're out there and you're creating and you're you're successful and that's a good thing but once you start 
thinking about partnering up with other people, working with other people, then you have to share and be humble. You have to humble yourself, the hermit. And understand that it's your idea, but also you they need you and you need them. And so it's not a quick fix. It's not about the outside world and uh, media and how you're going to be amazing and successful and all that. Yeah, maybe. But right now, that's not what's going to work. Right now, it's going to, you know, it's about being humble or humbling um, in your ego. So you can find solutions and you can work with these people in a clear way. Page of Cups. There's an offer coming in, a creative offer, um, messages coming in regarding this project, business idea, whatever it is. And I think you have several options, not just one, several options. Let's see where this is going. It's, it's a very interesting reading. It's a little annoying in a cute way, you know, in a cute way. It's like because it's like me, me, me a little bit, but... I like this. It's at least it's happening. You're ambitious. You're putting yourself out there. You're finding ideas. You're making things happen. I like. Yeah, there you go. There's a team. So you're going to start building this. You're going to start. Just take your time. Just give it time and make sure you don't bulldoze because that's not something that's going to be productive three of pentacles it's yeah you're gonna build this yes look at this beautiful so three of pentacles you're building teamwork you're not alone so you're building a business or building an idea producing something a product an idea whatever it is and it's moving forward. So once you calm your energy down and once you understand that it's not about ego, that it's about finding solutions with other people, cooperating with other people um, in tandem, then really that's when uh, the dynamic changes. Once you collaborate and understand who's doing what and who, you know, who, where, each person or business or group of people, whatever it is, what, what, what your strengths are, then that's when the dynamic changes. And then that's when things are going to start to change. Action forward. It's just going to get better and better from there. Right? The optimism. So keep the optimism. Don't let your ego asphyxiate the energy the positive energy and the excitement about this right have faith and send out those positive energies positive vibes and if you're wanting to expand and partner up and develop this and make this happen right make sure you expand open up be open to the help of others be open to these people whoever they are i think it's several right be open because again these are going to be factors outside of your control that are going to be pushing the situation forward. So if you if you need to be in control at all costs, that's going to be a problem. Right? So it's going to be challenging. So accept what's happening. I mean, of course, if it's not something for you, and, and they're downplaying this thing and you don't want to work with them, obviously, right? So you wouldn't even come to this reading. But if it's something that, um, you know, you're excited about, go with the flow. It's the opportunity you probably didn't even imagine. I know I'm getting all... <laughs> oh, let me know what this is all about, Aries. Because suddenly things are becoming available. Suddenly things are moving forward in a really, really good way. Right? Law of attraction, synchronicities, luck is coming in. So whatever you've waited for patiently, whatever got you a little frustrated here, right? The battle of all, of everything, it's, it's really going to move forward in a beautiful way. It's a beautiful 
chance to turn this into a new direction, your career into new direction, this, this project, whatever it is. It's a really cool thing. I like this. All right, let's see. So a couple more cards. Yeah, there's the offer. Financial offer, creative offer, or finances coming in to make this happen. Oh, six of six of cups and nine of so you're 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 freaked out. Of course you're freaked out. That's why you're bulldozing. The ego, right? But why is the six of cups here? This six of cups keeps coming up. Let me just pull one card on this. Why is the six of cups here? Why are you reminiscing? Are, 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 are these triggers from the past? Are these people from the past that you are going to work with? Or are you just reminiscing your past career, everything you've done and how amazing it was? What? Yeah, the frustration, the financial frustration, the disconnect. Ah, with this... Um, with this Taurus Virgo Capricorn, you're disconnecting financially with this Taurus Virgo Capricorn or slowly but surely, you know, it's the someone that's not satisfied, someone that is done already and is not accepting or not happy with an offer. So maybe this person here, this is a person here, it's not going fast enough. it's um it feels like it's financial and the offer is not enough oh in the past maybe you had an offer that was not enough or there's someone around you that feels like it's not going fast enough and you're not making enough money or the offer isn't substantial enough hmm one more card take your time or you're dragging your feet because in the past because you have an offer here so maybe oh maybe the offer is not enough or someone in your environment is feeling like the offer is not enough there's not enough money why is why is the one more card please one more card on the six of uh, cups in the past though so in the past not enough money not going fast enough disconnect yeah disappointing and okay so now all right okay so i feel like someone in the past or a situation in the past maybe career job wasn't going fast enough not enough money not coming in fast enough disappointed and maybe there's a person around you that was disconnecting with you because there was not enough money coming in fast enough needed more money more money more money well here's the money Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a turnaround here. But in the past, the energies were a little difficult. And so maybe you're still reminiscing of that. And But this is really a good chance to push forward into success, into a new business, into a new partnership or a new idea you're developing or whatever it is. It's exciting. It's exciting. So don't look back too much on the past, especially if it has been difficult financially, right? Now it's about pushing forward, believing in yourself, believing in this new uh, venture, in this new business idea, whatever it is. And if it is someone around you, right? Just let it be, let it be. I think you're freaking out a little bit, but don't freak out. Don't freak out. All right. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Aries, a weekly money and career, June 17th to the 23rd, 2024. So I already took, got some cards on that, but let's see. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. One card, okay. Yeah, rethinking that, okay. Well, the answer is within. There you go. So I think it's multiple things. I mean, it, this big venture to take your time and not bulldoze and allow it to come in because it's different. And then here, 
also the person around you or your frustration from the past of not having enough money, not enough abundance, not giving harmony in your family. I think there's a big turnaround here. I feel like there's one more card. Um, the hermit twice. So the answer was within whatever your search is or to calm yourself down with a new team of people or people you're connecting with, um, negotiating with or communicating with or partnering up with, it's important to um, understand that whatever your frustrations are, whatever your um, impatience is, you know, that need to push forward at all costs on your speed, on your agenda is not going to work. And so whatever answers you're looking for or clarity or understanding to appease your anxiety is within. And you're the one that has to change. You're the one that has the answer. Way too many cards. I feel like there's one more with this uh, or it's just that. Then I'm just going to leave it at that. One more, one more time. No, too many cards. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that because the reflection on this in all ways, whether it's family, people around you, um, opinions, or you needing to adapt to a certain new way of working, new people, new language, new culture, whatever it is, the answers are within, right? Take the time. Take the time to reflect, to assess, to introspect, and understand that it's all about your energy. It's all about your dynamic. That's what you're going to bring to this new adventure. Very interesting reading, uh, Aries. Very interesting reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Um, I want to say that the... Ah, this was... It was <laughs> exhausting reading. Uh, this is... Um, I want to say that the magic word here is take the time. Take the time. Take the time. Or don't rush it. Whichever works for you. Whatever you connect with most. Uh, so if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, just put take the time or don't rush down below in the comments section and be subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and everyone for watching these readings, for connecting, for sharing your journeys, your energies. Aries, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Gratitude. Gratitude to each and everyone. Have a great week, Aries. Take care. Bye-bye.